Shapira, uh, offense averages about 24 points a game. Oregon's 54. How can we possibly hope to keep up well, if it comes to it? Yep. You know, it, it, you take every game individually, obviously. And and we got to go out there and try to score. And that's what we try to do every time we take the field. So it's not looking at it in the big picture, it's looking at it in the little picture. And that's what we preach to the players is take one play at a time, go execute that play, make that play work, win that play. And then the game will take care of itself. So you've sat down with Clancy and told him that Oregon's offense cannot score more than 10 points. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, uh, Coach Tedford. Obviously, he's kind of the conduit between the whole team, you know, so uh, we're always talking about those things. And, uh, in the same respect, uh, you know, we're all competitive people. We want to go and play our best. And, and see what we can do. Talk about Bridge for readiness for this assignment. Um, you know, Bridge, you can't say enough good things about his work ethic, about his preparation, attention to detail, his study, he's a student of the game. You know, he watches as much film as anybody on the team and has, you know, for the two years that I've been seeing him, um, you know, he's going to be prepared. That's the type of person he is. You need to, at some point, make sure he's not feeling like he has to win the game by himself. Well, I think that's for everybody and every, I don't think anything's special for, for him. He's a smart young man. He knows, you know, play within yourself. And uh, you don't worry about him at those things. What about the important establishing of the game against these guys? Well, I think that in, in our offense, that's always important, you know, and, and going and, and again, establishing a little bit of everything and getting it going. But obviously, when we get the ground game going, it sure opens up a lot of other things. So, um, this is, it's a good defense, very athletic, um, very multiple in what they do. You know, uh, they do a good job of changing things up. So, you you got to go out and execute and get man to man and, and make sure, you know, take your plays when you get them. And, and you're going to hit some big plays. And, you, and unfortunately, every once in a while, you're going to get hit too. Do you have MSG available this game? Um, I'm going to leave that to the head coach. You had to try. <laughs> you have to make it a point to remember to stay committed to the run because it's easy if you're if you it, fall behind it's, early. You know, and, that's, it, and that's something especially with this team. You know, um, when, when you're playing a team that, that is explosive like an Oregon is, it's, it's sometimes you want to you, – you can't – Try to panic too much because you can make yourself one-dimensional, and, and that's the worst thing you can do against the defense is make yourself one-dimensional. Well, winning the time of possession thing doesn't really mean much against them because they can score so well, quickly. But still, you need to try to keep your defense off the field. Yeah, and then you know that's always a, a great statistic. You know, I, I happily lose the time of possession battle if I go with the scoreboard back. You know, um, but again, these guys are an explosive offense, so we want to make sure we do a good job of taking care of the ball, especially eliminating the, the turnovers and those things. That's a, that's a big issue. Is that a concern with the, you know, with the new quarterback? Uh, anything? No, like I said, he's a young man that's prepared. You know, um, that's. I don't think he's no. thrown an interception. He's he uh, hasn't thrown a lot of passes, but I don't think he's yeah. had an interception. Yeah. What does he allow you guys to do differently than than Zach? Obviously, he's more of a pocket guy, so yeah. Most of the but he, he, you know, he's a pretty guy. athletic guy. I, you know, I wouldn't say there's massive wholesale deals. I, you know, Zach's so good on the move. Um, you know, Bridge is good in the pocket. Um, I don't, I don't see it as a wholesale. As wholesale you don't change. have to change your. We don't have to retool much. everything and do stuff. Just turn to a different chapter. Or yeah, maybe playbook. adjust some things and, and try to. And again, like we always do, try to take advantage of our player strengths. Looking back, how do you assess his performance on that final drive last week? Oh, I think he was. I think he was good. I think he was real good. That's hard to do now to, to sit there on this, you know, and all of a sudden walk in and the lights on on you, you know. And, and I think he responded well, um, especially given that situation. You know, I thought he really kind of stepped up and, and did some, made some throws and sat in there and had his eyes wide and did some good things. Even the Nevada game, I'm not sure when he exactly found out he was going to start, but nobody else apparently knew. Um, does this give him a bit of a more of a running start into the game, having prepared it for ones all week? Well, yeah, um, yeah, definitely. I mean, he's uh, you know he, even before the Nevada game, he had gotten a lot of reps too. So, but uh, to know you know the mental part of it, to be ready, and all those things. And again, that's Coach Tedford kind of sets those things up and does those things. How do you assess Oregon's secondary? SC was able to hit a lot of big plays. Yeah, on them. they did, and they hit some some big. Play, you know, I, I think this is a very talented secondary, a very physical secondary, very good with their hands. 
I mean, they they locked some guys up. Um, SC had a couple of receivers that, that got behind them a couple of times and made some double moves and some of those things. They did a pretty good job. I like that. You know, Bryce and Harper are kind of excel at those double moves at that, at that route discipline. Is that something you're kind of looking forward to? Well, I think that, you know, we always have the, a little bit of that in every game plan, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, that, that uh, again, you talk about how you want to attack people, you want to attack them on all fronts. So we always have a little bit of that in every game plan. Um, you know, Barkley made some really good throws and some really clutch plays. And, you know, this is, like I said, this is a good second. It's not when you say, okay, here's the holes, let's go attack that but hole. you do have to be aggressive. You have to be That's aggressive about every game. Yeah. You know, we have to be able to go out there and, and like I say, balance. You know, when we have balance, we're, we move the ball. We don't have balance, so we don't execute. And we don't. Do you feel the offensive line is, it seems the penalties along the offensive front have gotten less and less as, as the years move along. You no longer can make that prop bet that each of the race three brothers is going to get a holding call at some point. We, you know, we had some early penalties, you know, and some of it's new guys playing, you know, and we go back to, you can't do that. You know, it wasn't a, it was it wasn't a lack of want or a lack of trying. And sometimes it might be a little trying too much. You know, and uh, you know, I think we're maturing. Do you mix Tagaloa into the, um, the deal again this week? Yeah, I mean, he played some last week. and played well, and, and he's got a bright future. And and we're going to keep giving him time. It, just sort of my impression watching Oregon occasionally is that they give up a lot of yards, but they make up for it with. The turnovers and then their red zone defense. Very stout in the red zone, um, and you're you're right on them. I and they do give up some some yards at times, um, and they gave up some Nessie. And Nessie played very well offensively. And they made a lot of plays. And, you know things were there, and they fit the balls in windows. And they played very well that way. But they get very stout as they get down to the red zone. You're right, and uh, and they had a lot of turnovers, especially in the red zone.